Hey guys, it's Jenks, and welcome to Tutorial Mondays. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make an optical flare go around your weapon. This works best with the Desert Eagle and COD 4. So, I've got a clip here that Small Beans has clipped, uh, one of his Twixer tutorials. And I've already rendered the loop region that I want to put in slow motion out again. Like, if you've seen last week's episode, you'll know how to do all this, the Twixer and that, because you need to do that again. So you're just going to be watching me do that for the first bit. But if you didn't see last week's episode, just keep pausing it and look at what I'm doing. So I'm going to go new composition, 10 seconds, drag your clip in. I'm going to be going pretty fast, so if I'm going too fast, sorry. But only for this bit, I'm going to be going really fast. So, right. Right, there you go. Uh, effects, RE Vision, plugins, took to 4.5, motion sensitivity 0, because I don't want it being all blurry, speed free, oh, free, smart blend layer, frame blending, pixel motion layer, time, enable time remapping, uh, there we got our Twixter. So I'm going to put this in the quarter, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom in on my Desert Eagle. I think. Okay. Now I'm going to get to a bit that I want the optical flare to come in. It's around about here. Now, you need to download um, the optical flare effect. You can find it on YouTube. I'll try to put, find a link put in the description like I did for Twix the last week. Try to help you guys out, okay? So, you want to go to effect when you have it installed, video copilot and optical flares. Now, let me zoom out on this. Now you'll see it's got the light of a black background. Uh, what you want to do, you want to go down to here where it says render mode and go over original. And then your light will be on your gun. So, I want, I want that light to be there. I want the center light to be over here somewhere so it's out of the way the main light needs to be on your deagle just move it it's a perfect place okay now what you want to do you want to go down to your effects on your composition optical flares and position and hit the little timer which is keyframe and then you got it up there now and then you just go across the frame and move it down go across another frame Move it down, and just keep, just keep like going each frame and moving it along your gun. That's basically it. Depending on how fast or slow you want it, um, obviously depends on how many frames you go. If you go, if you go more frame, you wait more frames before you move it. It's going to go slower. If you do less frames, it's going to go faster. I'm rushing this now, so it probably won't look too great, but if you guys put time into it, it can actually look really good effect. It's, I really like this effect. Uh, one thing I, I would try to teach you is the null light factory that you may know small beans uses. It like looks like a sun in his videos. But the thing is I've got oh what the fuck is happening there? I've got CS3. I got After Effects CS3 and it doesn't seem to work in that. Every time I try to load it up, it um, freezes my After Effects and it breaks down, so I can't teach you that. So next week I need some ideas for a next tutorial because I'm really stuck with ideas. I do have Twitch, which is like shows you like do you know when like it's, it flashes your screen and screen slides and all that and it messes up. I can show you that. It's a really cool effect if you try and go for lightning. If you try and make a lightning effect. And it's coming to an end now, so I'm going to bring this up here and then bring it back to the tip. Okay, I'm going to render that and then show you what it looks like in Vegas, okay? Let me just pause this for a minute. BLB. We're back and I've added some color correction to it. <coughs> yeah, you can view it here. This is how it looks. So a little plate, and it goes round the gun. Delicious. Looks all right. You guys can try it. Um, I'll render it out and put it at the end of this video the clip. So yeah, guys, it's been it's been Jenks for Tutorial Mondays. If you got any ideas for the next episode, please um, <clears throat> please write in the comments and 
give it a thumbs up on that because uh, I'll keep doing the series if you thumb it up. If you don't, then there's no point, is there? Alright. See you later, guys. Peace.